these are all the components you need from Yakima to install the rack to the top of the F-150 cap. So we've got the landing pads here that will attach these, um, they call them sky platforms. These attach to the bottom of this, allowing the um, crossbars here to attach these accessories, which are for carrying the kayaks, the paddles and such. I've also got a lock system and also cable locks to cable lock the kayaks and the paddles to the top of the truck. Straps to tie everything down when you're done to make sure everything's secure. And all the little bits and pieces to make everything fit correctly. So this is basically the pieces that are needed. For tools, they give you a tool here that works with these um, works in here with these to adjust and tighten them up. There's the hardware in here, which includes an Allen wrench to secure these to the roof. And I think everything else just pretty much goes together with hand tight tools. So you don't really need a lot of tools. So the next step will be to move and start assembling these landing pads. These rails were installed by ARE. They allow me to mount the system. My understanding these were, these were made by Yakima. So it is all part of the kit, essentially. Um, when you order a cap like this, you want to order the rails on it when they have it made because they reinforce the cap and it increases the carrying capacity by I think almost 100 pounds. So I think without this you're rated around 100, with this you're rated about 200. So it's really significant and it's worth doing. And each landing pad has a cover, which is basically you're going to put that in place when you um, don't have the racks on just to kind of decorative to make them look better. So I'm going to take all them off, set them aside. Now the rails have an insert. And I'm going to pull them out in each one and this allows you to fit the landing pads onto the rails. So those are out. And on the back of these rails, there is an end cap, and that end cap's held on with an Allen wrench, an Allen screw. And it's not this size. So let me see if that other screwdriver tool will fit it. If not, we'll have to get an Allen wrench. Hooray, it fits. So, so far, we haven't had to introduce any new tools. We will probably have to have a pair of scissors, because these will have to be trimmed once we put the landing pads in place. To make sure that they fit correctly. But I'm removing a screw at the end. That allows me to take this off. A little dirty underneath there. But do the same on this side. So to mount these, You've got these little pieces here that slide inside the track. They're threaded, and so you have an Allen screw that goes into it, which you screw in through the mounting hole here, something like this. And there's a spacer that you use on that too. So it looks pretty straightforward. I'll install one on this side. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the little square piece into the track. And I actually noticed that there's actually two levels to the track. There's an upper level and a lower level. These, I'm assuming, go into the upper level. You have spacers and washers that you assemble on here.
set the screws into the holes. And screw this into the little square pieces. And at this point, you really don't want to tighten them up yet because you're going to want to be able to adjust this, which I still can fairly easy. So I'm going to install one more on this side, then we'll do that side. And yeah. For this next step, we're going to assemble the crossbar to the sky towers, and we're also going to install the locks. So, I'll start with the locks. And they seem to they seem to be pretty simple. You got you got the keys. You got a lock cylinder right here. They give you a dummy key, and that you can usually use that to pull out the little button that's in place. And their suggestion is to use the dummy key to hold the lock cylinder in place. It does sort of work. This, the key doesn't completely fit in. Really all you want to do is just get the key in there and take a normal key and test it. Make sure it's secure. So that worked pretty straightforward. I'll do the other one in case you didn't see it. So we want to pop out the plug. Take a lock cylinder, use the flat key, it's not cut, just as a holding device, because it really doesn't install. I've tried multiple ways it doesn't install, whether it's just my circumstances or not. There are some slots in here, you want to sort of line this up, just wiggle a little bit, the key will drop right in, like that. Take your cut key, put it in. And test it and you should be able to turn that piece right there. So both of those are ready. These two pieces here come with the crossbars and they're adapters to fit into the um, sky towers. So you would notice on them that there's a little tab sticking up here and two tabs here. These two tabs go into the rail that's on the back of the sky tower. So what you want to do is you realize then that this is the orientation where the power is going to go this way. So these tabs have to be aligned that. And you just drop them in place. And they click. And you're good to go. Same with this one. And it clicks in place. And you're going to remove this filler strip and set it aside. You'll come back to this and reinstall it later. These two pieces are what attaches the sky towers to the rail. You're going to send one of them on each side and set it in. So using the tool that they give you, there's a screw in here and that screw adjust so that you can get the tool into the screw that's in the bottom that will allow you to tighten these on to the crossbars. So you need to just loosen this up a little bit. Don't unscrew it completely. Loosen it up and that just makes this hole visible where you can now get the screw in. I found that if you take the tool and put it into the screw and then kind of set this on, you can usually capture that. And again, don't tighten this up all the way yet. We'll come back and do that. 
So I've just got it snugged up there. It's in place. It's actually just a touch too tight. I'm going to loosen up just a little bit. I want to be able to move it back and forth because i got to center it to the rails and then make sure it's centered. So I'm going to slide this over this way. We're now going to do this one. So we'll loosen up here. That now should allow you to get at the screw that's underneath. This one's being just a little bit difficult. Maybe it needs to be a little bit looser. Now I'll be able to capture the screw, set it onto my piece here, and tighten the two together. Again, just snug it up. I want to still be able to move it when I'm done. So at this point we're ready to take this and put it on the truck. So let me catch up with you on the roof. Back on the roof, I've brought up my crossbar. I've got everything just loosely assembled. I can still move these back and forth. And now what I want to do is I want to move them into the landing pads. And what you'll notice here if you can see this on there's these doors that open up and that didn't help <laughs> there's some, these doors that open up and if you close them two pins come out right here you can see that right where my finger is at and so you have these in the open position and you're going to want to take them and set them onto the landing pads Again, this is where you want to be able to adjust, just like that. And that's really all you need to do. Um, you're going to want to take a tape measure and make sure that you're centered. So what I've done is I, I'm going to close these up so I get a consistent measuring point. I'm also now secured to the uh, landing pads. and. I am at, oh, looks like seven and seven eighths. And this one looks, looks like I'm off by about, just about an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna tap them this way. I don't think I needed to move much. Okay. There. So I'm now set even. So I'm going to go back and get my screwdriver and I'm going to carefully tip them and tighten up these two screws here. Oh, got to release them here and here. Now I'm carefully going to tip them. I'm going to tip it so that you can see. I'm going to go into these screws here and here, and I'm going to just tighten this up. One thing too that Yakima does, which is kind of neat, they do have graduations measurements here on the bottom that will help make sure you stay in line and you're centered. I think that did it. Flip this back. Drop it in there. Perfect. The rounded edge goes forward. These are the arrow racks. So the rounded edge will go forward. The next step is to take this rack and take it off and I'm going to fit the fill strip back in here, inside. I think I can do it right up here. And then cut it to fit. So this is the piece we took out for. And I'm just 
putting it back into the channel, kind of filling that channel. Now this piece tucks underneath here a little bit. And I noticed that it was probably half an inch or so on this side when I did it. Yeah, probably about three quarters of an inch. So what I want to do is cut this, I'll cut it a little bit long, I'll cut about an inch longer I think than what I need. And I'm going to test fit it. Not bad. Fit pretty good. So that piece is in. I gotta go grab the piece that fell off, and we're cut pieces to go on either end. All right. For the end pieces, all we really want to do, they go right in, again, slip underneath. They don't go right to the end, so you don't want to cut this right to the end. You actually want to cut it a little bit short, and that's because there's a spot in here with the end clips lock into. So these are the end clips that go into the end here. And they are left and right. And as you can see, when I put them in, there's a piece that stays out here, and this is what locks it in place, keeps it from falling off. So I can't cut this right to the very end of the bar. I've got to cut it to where this fits in. Pretty much like that. Good. That side's done. There. This bar is done and ready to be installed. I'm going to set it here. Make sure these are down. You take the tool and you go into that screw that's in on the side. I'll do it from the side. And you just want to tighten up that screw that locks in the crossbar um, screw so that it can't be removed. Again, the idea here is we want to make these things um, secure so that no one can remove them once they're on the truck without a key. That one's done. And that one's done. Put these in place like this. Everything gets locked. Take the sticker off. And this crossbar is done and can be slid into position. The other crossbar goes together the same exact same way. I won't follow through with video on that, all of that, but just next step is the setup these pads for the kayaks. So I'm carrying two kayaks, so I've got two sets. These are the front pads, they're smooth, no wheel. The rear pads have a wheel on it. I've noticed on the rear pads that the handle goes to the rear, because that's where the wheel would be. So, uh, so I'm gonna set the front ones up to match. They basically just hook over the bar like this, tighten, And then from here you just need to figure out where they're going to need to sit. And until I put a kayak up here, I'm not quite sure where that's going to be. So we're going to rough them in. We do know a couple things. These bars are five feet wide, so I want to get them centered to the bars. Um, so that each kayak has about roughly the same amount of space. My kayaks, I think, are just 30 inches, just under 30 inches wide, so they should fit pretty good on here. I should have plenty of adjustment to fit them. So just like that, to kind of set them in place, snug them up a little bit so you can still move them or adjust them.
Okay, so the process to add the rear bar should be just, the rear platform should be just about the same, so I'm not going to go through that, I'll set those up when we are ready to install the kayaks. Uh, so the next step will be get the rear set up, get both set of crossbars in place, lock them down where they will be setting, um, and then kind of figure out where the kayaks will sit. We've got everything assembled on the roof of the truck. I'm going to take you up there and show you. And so you can see the two crossbars, front and rear, the um, kayak pads with the rear rollers in the back. Everything's all kind of set. I put some pads down here to protect the truck as we load things. And I think we're ready to load up. Take this, drag it up. It's going to sit down there. have to get um, a piece of carpet or something so if we had, if we're not on uh, grass uh -huh. I, you know, we'll scratch that enough. We'll have that in my stone parking lot. Yeah. Just get started like that. And here. And the back. on the rollers. So you keep it up there. Up on the roof to put the straps on? Well, I didn't really. What I mean, I have What? The top. The roof? No. No? What I should have, I would get the straps in place for the front while I have just one kayak out there. So we're all done with the kayak rack. The kayaks are loaded up onto the truck and I wanted to just give you a final look at how everything is set up and way it will go down the road. We're strapped down from the front. Strapped around here in the middle. Paddles are set up inside here. And if I get up here, you can probably see the lock set up. Locks go through each kayak, through the paddles, and lock everything in place. Along with everything has a lock on it. So it is fairly well secured and ready to travel. Front tie downs come down through, your, through the hood. So you can see, I did 
put some black tape around here so it doesn't damage the finish of the truck. Um, but these straps here bolt to the front fenders. Hold everything nice and tight. And pretty much everything's the same on this side. Nicely set up. Looks like it's good to go. We could take a test drive with it in the trailer just to make sure everything is working good. And it rode very nicely. So do need to do something with these straps here, these excess, and uh, tie them up or something. Um, probably do something so much with in the front here. Or I just took more black tape and just strap them up. So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like it, please subscribe. If you uh, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like to see more like this. Thanks and enjoy, and, and thank you for stopping by and watching. Uh, Zephyr Travels and my uh, kayak rack install video.